Hello everybody, welcome back to another episode of 5 Minute Gaming News, the show that may or may not be 5 minutes. Today in the news, Microsoft is breaking out the big guns to fight back against the Competition and Markets Authority in the UK with its Activision Blizzard appeal. And by big guns, I mean a lawyer who has repeatedly defeated the EU in tech competition cases. Meet Daniel Beard KC, the leading competition barrister and Microsoft's latest hire. Now what makes Beard such a powerhouse? According to Video Games Chronicle, Beard, representing Apple after the EU demanded the company pay 13 billion euros in taxes because it claimed Ireland had offered it illegal state aid. Apple went on to win the appeal. He also represented Intel last year in a successful attempt to overturn a decade-old 1.1 billion euro fine after the EU claimed it was unfairly dominating the microchip market. So yeah, undoubtedly Beard has a pretty phenomenal record, and it makes sense why Microsoft would pick him to represent them. Besides, this is a 69 billion dollar merger, so I imagine a million here or there to fund the appeals process really doesn't matter to them in the big scheme of things. You might as well get the toughest and best barrister you can buy, and in this case, it appears like that is Beard. We'll see what strategy he chooses to approach this and what the appeal process will be like. Expect more information as we go through the summer. In other news, it's been just over a week since the launch of Respawn's Jedi Survivor, and oh my, the bugs are strong with this one. So much so that a current bug is causing people's pre-order bonuses to disappear. As reported by GamesRadar, this bug was first identified when Reddit user Tay17Young posted, I would pre-ordered the deluxe edition of Jedi Survivor and for the first few days, I had all the extra content that came with the pre-order and deluxe, they said. Got on yesterday and all the DLC content had disappeared. I bought the game on EA, so I tried repairing the game and that didn't work, they said. I've restarted my PC, turned it on and off again, deleted the game and re-downloaded it. Still, all the content is missing. Seriously thinking this bug is related to the latest patch and hope it'll be fixed soon. And this is just the latest example of that Geonosin hellscape that is the PC version of Jedi Survivor. Geonosis was the, the, the place with the bugs. It's a good joke. And before this most recent bug, another was found that causes an enemy to essentially eat your XP because it throws Cal's corpse into unreachable map areas, making it impossible to find and regain your XP posthumously. One player went so far as to say the bug was game breaking, which I understand because it does seem like an unnecessary hindrance. And I know you're seeing all the memes out there on the internet, on social media about all these PC games and the ports coming out that are just bug ridden and not very good. And here's the thing. I know it's an exaggerated meme. I, I understand that, but also we're playing on PS5, uh, Davis and Alex and I, I, I don't think I've seen one bug. And if I have, it wasn't noticeable in a way that I was like, oh, that's bad. And so it kind of gives credence to that. I don't want to just poo poo on PC games. It's the majority of what I play, but it does, it does add a lot of fuel to the fire to see the fact that we're currently playing on a platform and it's just fine. And all the problems are on PC. And when you look at games that have come out that have been major platform releases that are also on PC, they have the exact same weird, like, insane bug issues. And yeah, I'm starting to understand why a lot of players are pissed off. Speaking of pissed off, I bet someone over at Blumhouse is pissed off because the Five Nights at Freddy's trailer leaked. This past Saturday, the trailer appeared online, heavily watermarked, and a lot of people at first thought it was fake, but Scott Cawthon... The creator went online and was like, yo, it's real. Please don't watch or share it. It's really difficult, if not impossible, to prevent people from trying to spoil things for everyone else, but it was really encouraging to see the fan base pulled together and push back against it. For those of you who resisted watching it, I think you'll be much happier when you're able to see the finished product that is edited and polished with VFX and proper sounds. And I get it, there have been leaks before of trailers that weren't properly done or clips from movies that weren't edited or, you know, color corrected or whatever, and people dogged on them mercilessly. In fact, in some cases, like that, um, the Mummy movie with Tom Cruise where they released that trailer that had the sound mixed up for some reason, 
I think that pretty much killed the movie. I, I know it wasn't a great movie, but I'm pretty sure when people watched that trailer, they were like, what the hell is this trash? And it became a meme and a joke. And yeah, I can understand why they would be worried about this and be like, please don't watch it. But there's something you should watch for, and that is this week's releases. Today, get ready to go on the roguelike road trip of a lifetime with Darkest Dungeon 2. In this sequel, you'll create a party, equip your stagecoach, and journey across the choice-ridden landscape in order to stop the end of the world. Each character comes complete with their own unique items, paths, skills, and tragic backstory, which is always a gothic horror must. I love a good roguelike. Darkest Dungeon 1 was amazing. I cannot wait to explore. I also cannot wait to watch... Pretty much all of my friends play this on stream. Get ready. Everyone's going to be playing this thing. And then, speaking of something everyone's going to be playing, this Friday, the most anticipated Nintendo game in years arrives. I'm, of course, talking about The Legend of Zelda Tears of the Kingdom. Prepare to step back into the boots of the hero of Hyrule as you take on enemies and explore the world above and below. I got a lot of questions about this game. Are the Sky Ruins somehow tied to Skyloft? Will Tears of the Kingdom be as impressive as the first one? Why do they make Ganon so hot? What's going on with that? We'll just have to wait and find out when Tears of the Kingdom hits on Switch May 12th. Anyway, that's it for me. Thank you so much. If you want to see Jedi Survivor or any other Let's Play stuff, head on over to Cox Clips. Got it all over there. More of uh, Scary Game Squad coming. Just the whole lots of stuff coming down the pipeline. Things I can't share. You're going to love it. See you tomorrow. <laughs> Finger guns. See you tomorrow for another episode of 5-Minute Gaming News.